Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to make something like this. Just a fist through a metal panel. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. I'll first import an, a model, a fist model to use here. Uh, so let me find that. I think it's on my desktop. And, uh, let's give it a moment. So yeah, this is uh, the fist we're going to be using and origin, I'll rotate this 90 degrees maybe scale it down a bit and basically what we're going to be doing is animate it go through uh, not go through completely but maybe up to around here so let me just add keyframes a few keyframes there and push it back just a bit so I made something like that. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is uh, using the use the cast modifier. Uh, so let's have some subdivisions here so that we have enough polygons uh, to use uh, for our cast. So go then to the modifier and find the cast mod. Uh, sorry, the sh shrink wrap modifiers. That's what we're going to be using. A shrink wrap modifier, and uh, then select uh, this fist as the target. Uh, the entire object will shrink to the to the target but uh, change the mode to projection so that only a part goes uh, through that let me smooth in this and uh, if we hide this we can also reduce the, the time frame to about a hundred yes see if it would be enough you can see what we're getting so our subdivisions are a bit low that's why you see we don't we're not getting uh, that geometry, all the ge all the details, all the details in the geometry. So you need to subdivide this uh, quite a few times, or just add a multi-resolution modifier. Let me extend this up. Simple, subdivide it once. You can see the more subdivisions you add, the more details you get. Uh, but so we're going to run. You you see that uh, some in some areas we are running into this issue here. So you can go to yeah, uh, you can play around with some of the settings here, but uh, uh, the setting you want to play with, uh, you can add a, a small modifier here, and uh, just increase the number of repeats here to smoothen some of the issues uh, that are coming up like that. You can see. picking most of the details actually this also you can also use uh, this side I guess so you can see still play around with this, some of these settings here and see uh, the other things you're getting so you can see above geometry you can even offset this just a bit maybe reduce this more thing here Yeah, and that's it. And I think you can even duplicate this, duplicate it to this position and uh, copy this modifier and this time use this as uh, the second object. that the smooth is working now you can offset the 
time frame I get something interesting yeah so that's it uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video